In the forum there was a question, how can I use the animation workbench to detect collisions uh, of two rotating parts? Uh, I have done some experiments and this is the result. These are the two parts and I have calculated the collision space of these two parts when I rotate them around these two axes. And the result is such a, a mapping. We have uh, a space where no collisions occur. These are the blue ocean and there are some islands and if my control point uh, goes to such an island then I will have a collision here on this place. This is uh, an example a rectangle which has the length uh, 360 and the same height and the length corresponds to the arc of the blue rotation axis and the y value is the angel of the green one. So uh, the mapping is repeated in all directions and now I can check how it works and what I see is uh, that my cursor, my control point is inside of this C and there is no collisions and now I use my uh, keyboard controller to move the point and when I go to the frontier I see the collision will come There is space enough. You see, here is a collision. So, uh, this is an area inside uh, the country, and there is no way to come from outside into it. That means I have to assemble my parts in this way, and I cannot separate them uh, using rotations without collisions. Let's move the control point to this place to see what it means. So now we are inside the lake. This is still an error uh, when I run the program with higher precision then the gap will be filled the same as here. It's only uh, a tolerance of one degree. If I use a, a smaller tolerance then I will have here finer lines and so on. Okay, we are here and we see we are we have space here and here and now we move and here we have the col uh, collision here is a gap and we can go into the other direction and now we have the collision here and this is enough space and the next collision. In this way you can check the complete uh, movement of the two parts. and you can see where they should connect and where they shouldn't do it.